A decade ago, Peekskill's Lincoln Depot building was a crumbling, decaying structure. But then a magical change occurred. The people of Peekskill made a commitment to tear down the rotting buildings on the site and turn the Lincoln Depot building into a world-class museum. Now the old, worn-out structure has a beautiful new roof, features a magnificent sculpture of Abraham Lincoln, and is a center of activity for all sorts of community events. Where a rubbish once sat and, re and weeds crowded, reenactors gather, and citizens learn, enjoy, and celebrate our nation's history. Just as important, national figures are beginning to pay attention to Peace Skill in the Museum, understanding its potential for transforming a community. I'm just so impressed, uh, both, both with the site and the crowd we had here at Peak Scale. When I was in Albany last night and I saw the wind advisory, I expected 20 or 30 people to arrive. And you can see we literally had hundreds of people that came out to commemorate that event. I think they speak so well the community of Peak Scale. Located just 40 miles up the Hudson River from New York City, Peekskill was in a logistically crucial location for much of America's history. Broad and easy going for much of its lower reaches, the Hudson River tightens up and becomes much more difficult to navigate right at the beginning of the Hudson Highlands above at the top end of Peekskill Bay. This meant that Peekskill Harbor became busy, very busy very quickly. Steam transport actually helped the city tremendously, allowing it to become one of the world's leading manufacturers of cast iron stoves. Since it was relatively easy to move the increasingly ornate and always heavy items via water. What fueled industry also put Peekskill at risk? During the Revolutionary War, Peekskill was the logistical center for Washington's army. Peekskill was the place where Washington turned over command of West Point to Benedict Arnold. It was also the place where Major Andre began his ignominious and ill-fated attempt to escape with the plans for the West Point facility. Andre was hung as a spy. As Peekskill prospered, it drew attention and energy. One of its new residents was the famed preacher Henry Ward Beecher. Another a young woman named Sarah Churchman, whom Beecher auctioned off in a mocked ser mock service at his church, during which parishioners stripped the jewelry off their hands to raise funds. Tracking Underground Railroad activities is difficult because things were so secretive, but several sources say Peekskill resident Holly Green, a noted landowner, was a conductor. One of Peekskill's greatest moments and the moment that defined the Lincoln Depot was when Abraham Lincoln spoke on his way to Washington in 1861. Ladies and gentlemen, I have but a moment to stand before you to listen to and return your kind greeting. I thank you for this reception for the pleasant manner in which it has been tendered to me by our mutual friends. I will say in a single sentence in regard to the difficulties that lie before me and our beloved country, that if I can only be as generously and unanimously sustained as this demonstration which I have witnessed indicates I shall be. I shall not fail. But my friends, without your sustaining hands, I am sure that neither I nor any other man can hope to surmount these difficulties. I trust that in the course I shall be pursuing, I shall be sustained not only by the party that elected me, but by the whole country. Thank you. One of Peace Skill's casualties in the war was young Billy Pattison. His uniform jacket is still at the Peace Skill Museum. Well, I was really impressed. I was talking with Sue. Um, Susan Jacobson? Yes, yes. And she 
the idea that she conveyed to me is one of the ideas that's often forgotten when an interpretive or visitor center is designed. She's going to keep much of the space open so you can have special events here. And sometimes when designing these type of places, that's often forgotten. And they put in some wonderful exhibits, but they, so many exhibits are in the center that you can't hold any special events. And so by keeping some of the area open, that allows much greater functionality. And I think more use for the facility, and again, more people are actually coming here to learn about the history of the city and our nation. There is a great deal of history all over northern Westchester. Peekskill plans to be a regional hub. So my hat's off to Peekskill. This, they really have set the bar high in the way that they preserve this building and in raising money to actually turn this into an interpretive center.